uh, XXY is about a young intersex Alex who is 15 year old when the film begins and her parents have taken the decision of not having her operated or normalized as the doctors say when they operate an intersex kid and when the film begins they are receiving a couple of friends who come with their 17 year old son who will fall in love with Alex so basically XXY is a love story of two very atypical adolescents in a way who fall in love for the very first time in their lives. The first time I, I, I read a short story of Sergio Vicio called Cinismo and I fell in love with this young character of, of Alex who was fighting so hard for nobody to touch her body and, and to be able to choose her own identity and then I, became, I began to, to make a lot of research and to meet real kids who had or had not been normalized as the doctor said and, and I thought that basically today with what was happening with this subject that is that for the very first time some of these children are not being operated and their parents are, are being brave enough to, to, to grow with their kids without touching their bodies and to, to decide together when they reach puberty what way they will, they will go. I thought that that was a story. Something that for me was very important all along and everybody helped in that direction was uh, f the film not to have one extra word for to be uh, quite a, a, a silent film in a way and many times with the actors we rehearse a lot and they had absolute freedom to to say whatever they wanted but when we went back to a scene we tried to not to have extra sentences or words and to keep it very quiet because I thought that the subject was so uh, intense in a way that if people smoked too much it wouldn't work in a way well, it was uh, first. It was a long time to find her. I was like for eight months making a casting of boys and girls. I uh, sometimes I thought maybe Alex would be a boy and not a girl, and I was looking for younger kids. And at the same time, the script kept, kept getting more sexual and more violent. And I thought that working with a with somebody so small would be a very big problem for all of us, and especially for the young kids. So uh, when I found Ines, who was 24 but looked 15. Uh, she was actually very different to the character I had in the script because she was very feminine as she is and, and very fragile and she had not a lot to do and some, at the same time some, something in her eyes in the way that she, she seemed so innocent and at the same time uh, so old and, and obscure but like, th there was like a kind of mix in her eyes that was for me Alex. I, I thought I found her in, by look, seeing how she, she worked. With Martin Pirochensi it was quite similar with Ines because he's 23 also, he's older and he has nothing of the virginal clumsiness of Alvaro, no? he's like a man and he is very secure of himself so he had to, both kids had to create a physically very different characters to what they are so that was a very big challenge. When I was writing the film actually at first the parents were much more secondary characters and something that happened was that I thought that I couldn't tell these characters without telling who their parents was, that in a way they were still so determined by who their parents had been and the way they had been raised and looked at and, and, and I actually love films that speak about young people that, but that don't show their parents like Guzman Sanz, all of the films of Guzman Sanz but in this case I thought that because of the type of film that I had uh, it was very important to know and, and how, how important can the look, the way that your parents looked at you and trusted you and uh, determine who you will be. So and, and, and that moment when you start to break off the, the family your family, you know, and you start to, be, to become an individual. You are you. It doesn't matter who, who your parents are. Something that happens in the film is that I think that even in the end of the world or in the smallest town, how like Piriapoli seems to be, if something has to come out, it will come out anywhere. So that, that is something that also happens, you know, that they've been hiding in a way and, and not speaking about something just to try to protect her and when things start to boil, they will burst at some point. That's a bit what happens in the film.